Well, you know, we've done other interviews before, but I feel like I haven't gotten the whole story from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. So you grew up in bed Yeah. Yep. Well, basically where I grew up at, it's the borderline of Bedford-Stuyvesant and Brownsville. Aha. Uh-huh. But I'm in the star. But the Brownsville is right there. Like, you go two blocks up, you in the Ville. You go two blocks, two blocks back this way, you in the star. Okay. And what was bed like in Brownsville, for that matter, in like the late 80s, the early 90s? Oh, man. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you say late 80s, early 90s, it was, it was a zoo. You know what I mean? You've seen robbery. You've seen hustling. You've seen homicide. But but also you learn and you seen love at the same time. You know, a lot of people talk about the bad aspect of the of the ghetto, but they don't talk about some of the good things. You know what I mean? Um, it makes you who you are. You know what I mean? And it, it, it teaches you a lot. But um I definitely I definitely grew up in a rough neighborhood where you had to learn quick, you know what I mean, to stand stand up as a man and and mean what you say. No, absolutely, man. You're talking about I mean Brownsville in general, uh, to me, you know, when I lived in New York for 10 years, that to me was the roughest area of New York to me. Whenever I went through there, I always felt a certain level of apprehension oh, <laughs> driving yeah. through there. It's the bill. Never <laughs> ran, never will. <laughs> right. Exactly. I mean, exactly. And, and the Papoose name, that came from your grandmother? Yeah. My grandmother actually gave me that name at birth. So when I was born, she felt like I resembled an Indian person, an Indian baby. And instead of saying baby, the Indians would say Papoose. So she nicknamed me that. As soon as I came home from the hospital, she gave me that nickname. You know what I'm saying? And um, she named my cousin Pappy. And he he actually, on the song, where I said on, on the song, uh, 18 years, can't wait till they let my cuz out. Couldn't believe it when them words came out the judgment. That's a true story. My cousin got sentenced mm. to 18 years. And he's coming home soon. Uh, I think he goes to the board like next year. So... She named me, she named him Pappy and she named me Papoose, you know what I mean? So rest in peace to my grandmother, she passed from cancer. So when I came into the music industry, I didn't want to create a fictitious name, you know what I'm saying? To honor her, I just kept the name that she gave me. I actually thought Papoose was my real name as a kid. I didn't even know it wasn't my government name. So when I first went to school and they was teaching me how to write my name, after I wrote it, I was like, what's this? They're like, this is your real name. But so everybody was calling me Papoose, my family, everybody. So I actually thought it was my real name. It was just a crazy experience. Okay. So you're growing up in, in the bed area, but you go to high school in Canada? Nah, that's that's bullshit. Who said that? Uh, okay, that's, that's, that's Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, that's great. They be having shit wrong. I went to high school. I went to Automotive High. Aha. Uh-huh. Automotive okay. High School. All boys school. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. In Brooklyn. Um, okay. And then, like, when did the rapping start? Did it start in high school? Did it start earlier? Man, I knew how to rap. I started rapping when I was eight years old, man. I started rapping when I was eight years old as as a kid, man. What what drew me to hip-hop? You know, hip-hop is something you live, rap is something you do. I became a part of the culture first. And I was just young, and... um. A cousin of mine was telling me about these these break dancers. Yo, this is this cousin such and such, he's a break dancer. This cousin over here, he raps. This cousin, he DJs. You know what I'm saying? He was just telling me because I was a little closer to my mom's side of the family. So when my pops took me over to, my, to his family, my cousin was like schooling me on a lot of different family members who were actually into hip hop. And I was just taking it all in. I was real young. And, um, I wrote my first rhyme, man, and I went to school. I said it to my friends, and they was like, oh, this is my first rap. You know what I'm saying? So from that moment, I said, yo, this is what I want to do in my life, man. You know what I mean? And I always would write, would write, write rhymes, and as time went on, I just got better and better and better. 